Falcon and Winter Soldier. It was a good introduction. As I'm watching you niggas blowing them buckets, I you on 20 attempts and drop nothing. Do them like KD did about the rucker. Niggas too small on the block, PJ Tucker, woo. Man, a nigga flow so silly, make Gary nigga that's doing the same look silly. Weak nigga thought he could guard him, tore off his Achilles. So if you feeling froggy, then go and leap off your lily. Hold on. It's a good introduction. It, um... Uh... I'm not I'm not entirely positive where we're going with here. So we got a couple nuggets, right? We got the uh the flag burners. Is that is it, Flag is it? Smashers. Flag Smashers. Yeah, yeah, that group. So we know that's the right now that's the main antagonist. Mm-hmm. Um the the couple parts that stood out to me during the show was the conversation with Rody and Sam about him giving up the shield. I thought that was really dope. Mm-hmm. This is like, man, what you going to make me ask you like why did you give up the mantle like for us, that's kind of what it felt like for me. Like, bro, like, my guy, you, yeah. we got a black Captain America. Why would you give that up? And, I mean, on one side of it, I see where, where Rhodey is coming from. And then I also see where Sam is. Like, Sam, his best friend is Steve Rogers, right? He's, yeah. he's, that's, that's his guy. So, like, he can't envision anyone else carrying that shield, holding that mantle other than Steve Rogers. Which is understandable. Yeah, I don't know if I would have just given this shit to the Smithsonian, though. Huh? Uh, especially considering they're soldiers and that that sort of thing. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we, we're not just about to get this shit out. You're an Avenger, bro. Like you know, just hold on to it until you feel differently <laughs> or something. Yeah. Um. What else? Why Sam can't get along, bro? Because he black. Because he black. <laughs> I swear to God, I ain't never seen nothing like that in no fucking Disney movie. Niggas getting denied loans and shit. Fam, why Captain America ain't leave them niggas no insurance money? Yeah, you know I mean. <laughs> Something Something bro He had no life insurance plan <laughs> Nobody written in that will No I'm trying to figure out How these niggas saved the world And they broke That's what I'm now, saying now, fam. Now, 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 now listen to me Now listen to me And you accumulated I, I so understand. much debt In the process <laughs> You accumulated mad debt I In the process that. He's worth a selfie But he right. can't get a loan Fam you, you're asking me for a selfie As you're denying me loan, <laughs> loan money um, I take this picture, bro, but nah, nah, dude, you're still <laughs> not to mention my family has been banking with you for generations, right? That's what he said. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, that's crazy. <laughs> Nigga too busy fighting crime. He ain't working on his credit score. The only race of people <laughs> that can save the planet and still not get approved for a, for a bank loan is black people, for sure. For that's sure. one thousand percent accurate. Sure. It doesn't get more American 1, than that. One thousand percent accurate. Because at first I'm looking at it like, man, get the fuck out of here, bro. I, I saved the fucking world. <laughs> You're alive because of me, literally. Bitch, this Give me my loan because of me. Yeah. But then I'm thinking like, well, yeah, no, damn, he black. He had no income <laughs> the last five years. He just <laughs> been <laughs> fucking shit up. Like, what was your actual job? Like, what do you, what do you got going on? Catch your feet. Um, man, the the fight, the first opening scene with I was Falcon. About to say it, it kind of contrasts with the fact that you said there was like almost no action in one division. Oh yeah, you and can tell right off with it early on. There's going to be a lot of lot of fight scenes, a lot of action in this. Um, that was the best I've ever, that really was the best I've ever seen Falcon fighting. I like, did kind of predict that he'd fly through the helicopter to. Pick to say, dude, to say that, oh, yeah, that was, I kind of saw that. Coming. Him going through the canyons and all that shit, like he's a superior flyer, even against like. Machines, helicopters, yeah. jets, and shit like that. So that's that was pretty dope. Seeing Bucky back in the Winter Soldier shit. He was killing um, it in the action scenes. He killed his homie's son. Killed his homie's son. I don't know why I didn't put that together when he was telling the story about his son being missing after we had seen that scene. But I didn't notice it until the end where he was like, he kind of peeked in the apartment and seen the vigil. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I was like, oh, damn, yeah, he bodied his son because he was wrong place, wrong time. How do you think they're going to come together? Oh, Bucky and and well, he's you seen in his his therapy session that Sam is already calling him. He's trying oh, to get yeah, in touch yeah, with him. He yeah. just you know, he's a fucking nutcase. He's he's <laughs> <laughs> he's crazy right he's now. He's a fucking nutcase. <laughs> he is. And the last thing is, uh, who the hell was that great value Captain America they had at the end? So that is um, John uh, Agent John Carter. That is the. The government engineered replacement for Captain America. Yikes! So in in the books, he is um, he has it's, he's like a, a they tried to recreate the super soldier serum, right? And he has the the strength, the agility, the speed, and all of that. But his moral compass is fucked. Mm. So it'll, it'll be interesting to see how you know that plays out in the show. Yeah. Um. 
Cause bro was up there looking hella gooberish. I was like, man, he's not even like, filling he out the suit. Shit. He looked goofy. <laughs> Like, who is this generic bootleg Captain America? This nigga turned around. Here? He looked like fucking Ernie. He looked like, <laughs> <laughs> nigga said Ernie. <laughs> like man, who the fuck is this? Oh, that was crazy. He looked extra goofy. He did. But uh, no, no, I know that's going to be a big thing between him and the Flag Smashers. We haven't even seen or heard of anything from Baron Zemo yet. So it's it's going to be a really action packed six episodes or five episodes now. Yeah. Um, I did enjoy that it was forty five minutes. <laughs> Yeah, got, got an actual, you know, digestible. like you said, it, it, it did look like a movie. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Oh, that was kind of cool. And if that's how they coming out the gate, then I'm excited to see the the episodes building. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Even this next one coming up this week, I think it's going to be some some heat. Oh, for sure, sure, for sure. Thanks for watching another Back of the Bus Squad episode. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you want to check out another episode related to this, go ahead and click that video to the left. And if you want to catch up on some of our other episodes, make sure you click the playlist below.